Whoa, what's up guys? Chris Gethin here and uh, I am starting day one of this video trainer, the ultra marathon video trainer, uh, quite differently. Just very last minute, I decided to enter a Spartan event. Um, I've done a lot of things throughout the year through 2017 that I didn't think that I was gonna do. I did uh, a, uh, an Olympic distance triathlon. I did a half Ironman. I did a full Ironman. I did a plethora of 5Ks, 10K, half marathons. And I thought, you know what, let's just throw in a Spartan in there as well to get something else off the bucket list. Again, as a bodybuilder, all these things are events that you don't typically see bodybuilders do. And somebody just came up to me now and said, aren't you a bit big to be doing this? Well, no, people perceive that as being a bit big because no one's doing it. And hopefully this will open the window to more bodybuilders to participate in 5Ks, 10Ks, Spartans, Ironmans, Ultramarathons, whatever it may be. Just get out there and move a little bit and don't be contained within a little box and contorted and morphed into something that we're not. We can be versatile, we just have to supplement our bodybuilding lifestyle, supplement it with food and uh, adequate rest and recovery and through proper training accompanied with intensity, not just long duration, long duration and training in that gray zone. This is where I am, that's the group before me. I'm up in 15 minutes in uh, today's Spartan. So, uh, I gotta go and dump my bag and uh, get into this. All right, guys, that is it. I am done with the Spartan race. I'm in a little bit of a mess here, as you can see. Don't know if they'll let me on the plane. I've got to get to the plane now very soon, so I'm gonna have to be quick and brief with you. But it was a lot of fun. There was only two obstacles that I didn't do. Um, so I did the burpees there. I felt my lat pulled a little bit when I was doing, it was like monkey bars, but they were moving. So I thought, you know what, I'll just go into the burpees. And uh, when I started the burpees, I felt that I had pulled my lat a little bit. And I've torn it several years ago. So I thought, I don't want to risk it. So when I saw rings much further, further down, I thought, well, I won't even attempt them either. So every other obstacle I got over absolutely fine. There was one obstacle that was like seven foot tall wall and I saw people half my size not able to get over it. So I thought, God, that's probably going to be me then. I'll have to do burpees. But I got over it first attempt. So I guess my strength to weight ratio isn't that bad. So uh, all in all, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. You know, at the start of the year, you know, I didn't think that I'd be doing an Olympic distance triathlon, a half Ironman, a full Ironman, a plethora of 5K, 10Ks and half marathon races as of a 220 pound bodybuilder. And uh, it's only two weeks out from the new year. So I thought, well, let's just squeeze in a Spartan last minute there as well. And, uh, you know, stay as versatile and show other bodybuilders, hopefully, that we can do it. So this is the first day of the video trainer for the ultra marathon. Day one, this is what I suggest, is that you get out on the trails. And uh, this may seem like a long way for your first trail run. If you haven't done any trail running before, I want you to do five miles, five miles, but choose a trail that is quite evenly placed. There's not too many inclines, not too many declines. However, if it's got some rolling hills, that's perfect because when you're going too far up, it will take it out of your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, you'll end up bending over. What I need you to do is focus on your posture the whole time. And as you're going up the hill, little steps, small steps, give yourself more traction, more core stability. And then when you're going down, lean back just ever so slightly, shoulders back, but then allow your weight to pull you forward, but don't go with momentum. What you're trying to do is strengthen up your connective tissue at this time. And it'll take a while. Initially, you may have sore knees, you know, but it's your connective tissue, i.e. your tendons and ligaments, trying to con uh, change and adapt and strengthen up to the new stress and load that you're placing on it. So I don't care how long you take to do it, but try to jog the entire way and do five miles. Will you do that for me? All right, peace. I better get a shower on and uh, get my plane back to Boise.